Alright guys, so here's the update on the sacrificial anode experiment. So, as you can see there's some pretty nice rusty colors there. And um, So here's the control that does not have any salt or anything in it, just the steel wool. And that one is pretty rusted. Um, here's the one with um, salt in salt water. So, and it's not falling apart, the steel, it's just kind of rusty. It's not. Um, it's just been a couple of days, I'm not really sure. Um, here is the aluminum and no salt, and that one's pretty rusty. Not much difference between that one and this one. Um, so it doesn't look like the aluminum really works at all. Here's the aluminum and salt water, and that one's more rusty. Doesn't look like aluminum is a good electrode at all. Um, at least that kind that I was using, which is just, I don't know what kind of aluminum this is, just aluminum strip of some kind. Um, <clears throat> but it looks like I'm going to go with the zinc, because look at these two zinc ones. This is the zinc with salt water, and this is the zinc without salt water. And um, as you can see, they're the best ones, clearest of all of them. Um, this one, it looks like because of the salt water, it was so conductive that it actually corroded the um, aluminum way quite fast. So we got a lot of um, corrosion in there. Or the white stuff is the zinc oxide, probably, but I can't really tell if it's any thinner or not, but it's got zinc oxide on there. So, and here's the one without salt water, which is protecting it pretty good. And I mean, there's a little bit of pitting on there, but not much. Let me refocus the camera here, get a better shot. But, um, here's the, um... The battery, which is still running this little drill thief, and it's doing fine. This is salt water in the battery. Um, so now I'll take a closer look at it. Okay, so here's the close up on the electrodes. So here's the one that was not bridged, and as you can see, there's pro not much corrosion on the um, zinc there. Here is the um, zinc that was in normal water, and there's a little bit of pitting on it, not much though. My camera has terrible focus. Um, and then here is the one that was in salt water, and it's more pitted than this one, but not a, I mean, it's not deep pitting, um, it's just more pitting than that one. Um, the aluminum electrodes really don't look like they did anything at all, um, probably because there was corrosion, or the zinc oxide when zinc, or, I'm sorry, aluminum, um, aluminum, it, gets a very thin um, oxide layer on it to protect it from corroding more. So it corrodes really fast, um, but <clears throat> once that oxide layer is on there, it doesn't corrode anymore, or not very fast. So that probably caused it to not have much current going through it, and thus just kind of was like a barrier, so it didn't really corrode at all to protect the steel, so the steel got rusted still. And here are two controls. Um, this is the salt water, and this is the normal water. Um, and they're rusty. Not really, really bad, but I'll probably put these zinc ones back in and just see how long they're going to last. The other ones I'm just going to, well, probably these ones too, um, but the rest of them I'm just going to throw them away. Um, but, well, actually, probably the zinc of this one, I'll clean it up and put it in my engine. But, um, um, anyway, I'll leave the battery go too. Um, so I'm probably, I could put salt in my, um, coolant to make it a little bit more conductive, but I'm probably not going to do that because it will, if I spill some salt water on um, the side of the engine or something, it's going to corrode there because there won't be an anode to protect it. So while the anode does, or the salt will, um, increase the protective properties of the, because more current will be able to flow, it'll be able to protect more um, surface area and protect the steel better. But if I spill it or something, then that's going to cause problems. So I'm just gonna just gonna go with normal water and zinc. So zinc is the best electrode or the cheapest at least. Um, if you have a lot of um, magnesium, that would probably be the best thing. But I don't have a large supply of magnesium, so I'm just gonna go with zinc pennies because they're cheap. So so yeah. Um, that is about it for the updates on the um, sacrificial anode experiments. Um, I might give you an, another update on the battery or something in a couple months, but um, that's about it. Um, so zinc is the anode to use in your engine, so um, thanks for watching. Alright guys, I just thought I'd show you how I um, get all the copper off of my penny. So I'm basically just going to set the penny in this little hole I drilled here, and um, 
just take a sanding thing on the drill and yep like that pretty much takes a couple minutes to do each one but it's not and then I just go around like this on the edge to get the edge all the copper off the edge and it's done so I mean you could do it with a file or something like that but it's gonna take a long time so it's just the easy way to do it um, so yeah